Okay, so we're done with the assembly. We're just now putting the last finishing touches on it. Um, we're going to do the preliminary um, balancing. Um, we step, skipped a couple of steps here in uh, building the booster. Uh, one of them was tying the piston onto the shock cord and then attaching the parachute. And this is step number um, 25. So basically we're gonna, just going to tie um, the shock cord onto this piston. that and it calls for a piece of tape just to tape that little loose piece um, so it just doesn't get in the way. Um, you don't want it to get it off onto the side of the piston which can happen so we're just kind of stiffen that up by putting tape on it. All right and then the uh, parachute uh, this is a 12 inch nylon parachute um, and this is step number 26. We're going to open this up. Um, the way our parachutes are made is we have one string that goes across the middle and then two go side to side and the reason for that is so you can put all the strings on your finger like this and none of them are twisted. So. Um, Basically grab the apex right down there, grab the top here, and I kind of go back and forth like this to kind of get all the strings even. So you want to find that middle point right there. And then this is going to be attached here. And I didn't get one in through. Sometimes a little tool helps. So I get this little forceps and I can stick it through the hole. And then just grab my strings and pull them through. <laughs> I love that little tool. Again, now I want to Make sure I got the middle, the apex right here. Hold that, pass this through. Again, keep holding that, kind of work its way down. And then pull tight there, just like that. Um, you're gonna stick ejection wadding inside there to protect that parachute before you launch. So make sure you do that. Um, you can wrap your parachute up. Uh, take your shock cord, wrap that around your finger, like that, and then shove that inside, shove that inside, there, just like that. And that completes the booster section. Uh, okay, so now on this, now we're over on step number... Oh, there we go. Trimming. Um, this is step 88. Um, it comes, the kit comes with a clay. Um, the first thing you want to do um, is, you know, have the wings forward. Um, and then right here, uh, there's two lines across. This, the balance point of the rocket should be between those two lines. So if you hold it like this, and just kind of balance it on your fingers. Um, so now I need a little bit more nose weight so that it will, will level out like that. So that's where this comes in. And it's not going to take much. Okay, so when I when I put the clay on, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick it on the outside for right now, um, and then we'll just move it to the inside here in just a second. So let's take it a little bit more than that. Yeah. 
and I need a lot more clay. Uh, for me, because I put so much paint on, <laughs> I need all the clay. But that's pretty good. Uh, and then you can wipe that off with a paper towel, and then you're going to stick that on the inside. Um, you're also going to want to put some uh, tape on this so that this is nice and uh, has a nice friction fit. Um, of course, the tape is going to add some weight as well. So if I'm just testing the friction fit. That's that's nice and tight right there. That's good. And then you're going to take this and you're going to push that inside. I want to save a little bit of clay uh, for trimming the wings, so the lateral stability. Um, so then you're going to take a wood dowel right here, and we're going to press that clay down all the way into the tip. further forward you can press it, the better, because that really moves the center of gravity forward. So there it goes, like that. And then this will go on here. Okay, and then balance it one last time. Okay, so that's really good right there. All right, so then we want to do a side-to-side -side balance. Um, so we want to hold it this way this time and see if, if any one wing is heavier than the other and I think mine are pretty good it's like this left side might be a little bit heavy. see he wants to rock back and forth we're really not going to know the best until we actually get out and start throwing it um, when we throw it what we're going to do is we're going to throw it um, and then we're going to look for it to tilt one way or the other, or go up or down. Um, if it pitches up, we're going to need more nose weight. Um, if it goes down, we're going to need to um, remove a little bit out of the nose. Um, and then if it, if it wants to roll to the right, you know, if I go this way and if it goes this way, that for you would be to the right, um, which means I need to put weight on this side of the wing. So then I would take the clay and just put it on the outside, add a little weight there so that the next time we throw it, it goes a little bit straighter. You don't want it to go perfectly straight or there's a good chance you're going to be a, walking a long way to retrieve your rocket. You do want a little bit of a turn in that um, so that it will circle around and then so it won't go so far out away from you when you launch it. So at this point, um, you know, the basic trimming is done um, and we actually need to go outdoors and actually throw it um, into the wind and see what it does when it collides. Um, and then after that, then we're ready to launch it. Um, you know, then we're going to um, fold our wings. Again, when you fold it, just grab that stay right there. I always put the, the thing up against my chest so that um, I can kind of walk it forward like that until it gets to the point where I can collapse the wings. Um, then we're going to kind of slide the piston out, get that to engage into the slots that are inside the piston, and we're going to rotate it around until we find the pins. And we have these launch lugs right here. Um, and again, we want to oops, find the one that has the longest pin. Get that one started first. Um, and then you can get the other one in and slide it in like that. And then it's ready to go. <laughs> All right, so this is the Draco. Um, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it, launching it and building it and flying it. It's a challenge to build, but it is awesome when it works. So you're going to love the Draco. Mm -hmm.